Hey socialites, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Ariel. I create mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and lifestyle vlogs. If that's the type of content you're into, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So today's gonna be my February makeup tray. This is a tray that I create every single month to help me use up some products that I'm almost done with, or just sort of bring out some products to the forefront that I wanna get more use out of, or maybe try some products that are new. Since it is Black History Month, I did wanna put as much black owned makeup on my tray as I could this month and I think I'm gonna go shopping for a couple more black owned products because I realized that I don't think I have a black owned setting powder from like a black owned makeup company so there are a few things I want to try out before we get started comment down below let me know what are some of your favorite black owned makeup products I'm talking about some non-negotiables some must-haves that are in your collection that you can't live without comment down below the ones that I see the most of I think I'm gonna go pick them up funny enough in the month of January my most worn foundation was the Fenty ease drop foundation which is this one I'm in the shade 19 but every single thing that I mentioned today along with the shades will be linked down below in the description box so make sure you check that out but this was my most worn last month but I think I'm gonna also add it to this month tray to sort of put her back in rotation this is one of my favorite skin tints but yeah Fenty by Rihanna so we're just gonna go ahead and jump into foundations first so first foundation is something I just picked up I had never even really I think I might have heard about this this is the performer skin focused foundation from about face this is a brand new product you guys now I was in Ulta just looking around and I saw this on display and what really caught my eye was the shade range the shade range range of this was phenomenal especially in dark skin tones but what was interesting is they had an array of cool tones warm tones and neutral so I ended up picking up the shade D1 neutral although I did have an exact when I tell you the shade range was extensive I'll be shocked if you don't have your shade in this foundation but one of the cool tones matched me perfectly like you couldn't even tell I had on foundation but I ended up going with D1 which is a neutral shade because in the summertime if you're not new here you know I get red honey <laughs> some people even comment like she looks somebody commented one time was like why does she always look red like <laughs> First of all, you're rude, <laughs> but I am. I am, and my family, you know, it, it's just, we're just a red people, you know? And in the summertime, I get really red. And so I don't really like to go with the warmer red undertone, so I like to stay neutral. And I already know I'm only gonna be this light for maybe another month or two, so I went with this shade. But anyway, I don't know too much about it. I'ma be honest. I just thought the packaging was cute and the shade range caught my eye. It comes in a doe foot applicator and yeah so we're gonna check this out I'll do a full review of this coming up really soon now this was on last month's tray I threw it back on this month tray because I didn't get a chance to use it this month's tray we're gonna do a lot of affordable makeup and black on makeup so Revlon color stay long wear uh, foundation I love Revlon color stay this was like my first holy grail foundation when I first started wearing makeup up years ago and so they have it long wear 24 hour now I don't know if it's new but it's new to me and so this is on the tray it's a little bit too dark for me I might use this just around the perimeter we'll see but I definitely want to get use out of it and then the next foundation is going to be the Revlon skin caring foundation now I've tried this already this is really good this is one of those skincare pack foundations reminds me of like the um uh, Lancome Karen Glow which I really like that foundation and so this is sort of similar um, with that skincare pack foundation and you guys these foundations are like $20 I don't know when the drugstore got so expensive but it's nice and the shade matches me perfectly which I'm in the shade 501 and this is a foundation that I picked up about three weeks ago and I y'all I need a better system I never got around to doing the review but this is sort of viral right now this this is one that's supposed to be a dupe for a Chanel foundation and this is the CoverGirl Simply Ages Skin for Skin Perfector Essence. It does have 
uh, Bakuja oil in it, which is like a uh, like a natural sort of Botox derivative or like a Botox inspired um, ingredient that resembles sort of Botox, but it's more natural. That's in here and it's just supposed to be a lightweight sort of foundation that's a dupe for the Chanel foundation. So I'm excited to try this out. I've been sitting on this for a while now. So comment down below if you've tried this one already. And then I had to put another Fenty foundation. This is the Ease Drop in the stick form. I'm in the shade 18, so yeah keeping that black owned energy. So this is going on the tray this month. Moving on to bronzer, cream bronzers. So uh, we got LYS, another black owned company. Now this is a staple for me. Oh, she's dirty. <laughs> this is a staple. I use this almost every time I do my makeup, you guys. This is the LYS cream contour stick. If you've been thinking about getting it, go ahead and get it, girl. It's only $20 and the quality is really good. I wear the color courage which is not too dark it's just like a more so of a natural cream contour on my skin tone it's not too dark that's what I like because I'm not really into that super dramatic super dark contour like I used to be and I try to be a little bit more natural with my makeup over the past couple years if you guys can see a difference I'm sure you do but yeah this is on the tray it's a really good product and one of my holy grails next cream bronzer is from Juvia's Place this one's in the shade amber now this one gives me a little bit more of a reddish undertone, which is why I don't use it so much. I feel like I reach for it a lot more in the summer months, but I still like it and I'm gonna use it more this month. This one has shimmers in it, uh, so it's a little reflective. That's another reason why I think it's better for the summertime, but nevertheless, it's pretty and she's getting used up this month. Moving on to blushes, I got my Danessa Myricks blush on here. This is the Yummy Skin Blush in the shade Golden Hour, which is a pop. Y'all, this would have been pretty today with like the bronzy skin and the nude top with this. This would have been a nice pop of color for today, but yeah. This is definitely going on the tray, another black owned makeup brand. And then I have some affordable brands. So this is the L'Oreal Infallible Blush. This one's in the shade Darling Rosewood, which is just like a pretty kind of deep, my, I, I tend to go gravitate towards these sort of mauve terracotta type shades, like a deep dark rose. Some people call it rose, but it's just a pretty shade. I don't use this that often. It's a really pigmented blush. A little bit goes a long way, but the infallible products from uh, L'Oreal are just, it's a good line of products. So this is on the tray, along with my new favorite liquid blushes, y'all. This is the e.l.f. liquid blushes. My two favorite colors is bronzed, what is it called? My two favorite colors is bronze bombshell and uh, berry well. These are so beautiful on but I also have the orange one called gorge orange which is really pretty too so I have these three elf blushes on the tray if you don't have any of these elf blushes I do highly recommend them they're really nice if you have a liquid blushes already use those first y'all liquid blushes take so long to use up but if you have they're comparable to me to the rare beauty blushes so if you have them use those up first and then try this because for the price point it's given why not <laughs> now this one is not black owned and it's not an affordable brand but it's new and I've been having it for a little while and so I thought let me put it on the tray to try it out because it just came out now I'm a fan of the NARS afterglow liquid blushes they're not as pigmented as the rare beauty or the elf blushes and I like that so when you want a very natural soft flush of color y'all this is it I own one already and it's one of my favorite blushes uh, but they launched a new color called Orgasm Rush. So I had to pick it up. The one I already wear is Dolce Vita, which is just a really soft color. But this Orgasm Rush looked so good when I saw it online. And I thought, this see, look, this is another one that looks like the Rosewood from L'Oreal Infallible. It's just something about this shade and a blush I just gravitate towards. But 
blending this out this is I just opened it so I haven't tried it yet but I know when I blend this out it's gonna be more so like a soft washer color not super pigmented like the um, infallible powder blush because that's just what this NARS formula gives but these are really good if you haven't tried them so I'm excited to test this out so concealers you know we have to put the new Fenty concealer on here black owned makeup right and so this is a good medium coverage concealer definitely going on the tray and it's new so when I have new products I do like to use them a little bit more just so that I could better recommend products for you guys and sort of get a feel of how it works with other products and things like that so she's on the tray also another L'Oreal infallible product y'all infallible line don't sleep on it from L'Oreal so this is the 24 hour uh, concealer the socialites y'all actually recommended this to me and so I have this in a couple different colors so this one's on the tray this month and this is full coverage so for my ladies that like that full coverage beat super smooth flawless you know picture perfect makeup this is it then I have a new product this is another affordable brand this is from NYX this is the pro fix stick concealer uh, I got it in the shade what shade is this I got it in the shade cinnamon right now cinnamon looks really close to my skin tone really close it's not too much lighter than my skin tone but the one that was one shade lighter than this was given too light so I was like well I'd rather go with this than the one that was super super light this is really creamy it just came out so I wanted to put this on the tray so we could do a trying new makeup video using affordable brands so I'm excited to test this one out I only have one loose powder on the tray this month so I'll probably use this in conjunction with some of my other powders but like I said I do want to try out a black owned powder but this is the covergirl clean invisible powder y'all this is a six dollar powder and it is a great powder honestly truly um it's made with clean ingredients and it's just it looks good you know i was shocked when i tried it out so this is one that i use every now and again so she's going on the tray got a couple highlighters you guys know i don't wear those bright highlighters too often but these are black owned <laughs> so we're gonna wear these this month and they're beautiful i think those bright blinding highlights are gorgeous i just don't wear them too often so i'm gonna use a light hand with these because they're pigmented but this is the juvia's place uh one of their liquid highlighters this one's in the shade nubian beam i think this is like their darkest deepest shade and this is gorgeous so this is on the tray let's swatch it y'all probably want to see the swatch if you don't already have it i actually wanted to Ulta this was a long time ago one day and it happened to be like 50% off I was like you know what it's been sold out every time I go in the store and it's in stock and 50% off but look at that isn't that pretty and then an LYS highlighter LYS packaging is just is stunning I love their packaging but this is their highlighter in the shade aim high and so let me swatch it y'all this is beautiful look that's a beautiful shade so aim high let's put it here oh, gorgeous shade as well so for brow products I have the LYS brow pencil this is a really good brow pencil you guys this is probably at this point one of my favorites is up there with the Sephora brand pencil that's like my favorite this is up there with that one that's how much I like this brow pencil it's good so another black owned uh, and then I have the LYS brow gel now this is more of a soft hold brow gel so this is more so when you fill in your brows first First, and then go over on top because my preferred method to do my brows is to put the brow gel on first you know let it get firm and then fill in where I need it but with the LYS it's such a soft hold I do the opposite I fill it in first and go over top with this and it really keeps it in place uh, it's cool it's a it's a pretty good brow gel if you like that method it's not one of my favorites but I do use it I do use it because it's not bad so this is the LYS brow gel eyeshadow palettes so for black owned eyeshadow palette went with the Juvia's place they are just they have the eyeshadow game just locked up period their eyeshadow formulas is just 
it's 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 amazing <laughs> their eyeshadow is so good that you just want to go buy their eyeshadow palettes with all kind of off the wall colors just because the pigments is just so phenomenal you're like let me get this lime green and and, and blue blue yellow you know eyeshadow knowing you're never gonna wear it but it, they're just so pretty and the quality is just so good and they're so affordable you just can't help but to pick them up but this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes the call coffee shop palette and it just has these beautiful shades you have a shade for every occasion in here it's just a great palette to have for for anybody so this is on the tray and then I have my elf bite size cream and sugar eyeshadow palette on here another really great quality palette it's a three dollar palette but when i tell you the quality is given it should have been 30 bucks like it's good y'all it really it really is a good product so and these make great gifts too have one mascara on the tray which is one that i use all the time if you watch me regularly you know i use the fenty hella thick mascara all the time so yes yeah, black owned Got that on here. And last are my lip products. So I do have my LYS pencil on the tray. This one's in the color Driven. Now this is a really light shade. So this is more so for those, you know, very effortless makeup days if you can see that it's just like a soft mauve shade but it's really pretty I like to wear this with my more paler nude shades it looks really nice and soft for those soft makeup looks where I wear like the pastel pink blushes this is a really good pencil it's creamy it reminds you of the MAC pencils in the quality but this color is really cute if you want something different that's on the you know lighter more effortless side check this one out but their pencils in general or just good pencils comment down below let me know if you've tried lys pencils also juvia's place pencil black on this one's in the shade cola this is one of my go-to shades for juvia's place lip liners y'all this one is already to the end pretty much used it up and the other pencil i had from them so rare it looks like cork from mac it's comparable in color i used that one up as well so i do have an upcoming empties video coming up to show you guys all what beauty products i've used up but this is cola it's a dark brown shade creamy good pencil now these aren't the most long wearing they're not super long wearing but the color is there the pigment is there you just have to reapply after you eat a juvia's place lip gloss now this is actually the gloss i'm wearing today which is a beautiful peachy nude this one's in the shade honey honey do y'all remember when i was obsessed with honey honey but it's just a beautiful peachy nude gorgeous on dark skin if you're a little lighter than me or all the way to the deepest dark skin y'all this you need this this is a beautiful look how pretty this is so honey honey by juvia's place then i got a couple of um the elf lip oils y'all i might say after trying out all of these lip oils over the past couple months now elf lip oils may be my favorite lip oil out of all the brands i've tried now the formula of the dior one is so close to this which i like slightly better but it's so slight and that one's 40 and this one's eight dollars is given this is my favorite because when you factor in price and quality these are good so i think after i got these two i think i now own all the shades i think i don't have the red one that's the only one i don't have but these are on the tray because i got them about a month ago and haven't used these two shades yet which is rose envy so this one's rose envy this one's honey talk so these two are on the tray and elf lipstick which is actually the lipstick i have on today Day, and then I put the honey honey lip gloss from Juvia's place on top so this is in the color hustle from elf y'all these elf lipsticks are really good so look it's just another peachy nude beautiful on african-american skin tones i think it's like eight dollars or nine dollars so worth it i've been saying i want to get more colors than this i just have so many lipsticks i need to use this up but beautiful shade and the last lip product and the last product all together on the list is Fenty Beauty's Lip Gloss and Fussy, another black owned product. Love Fussy. You guys, if you go outside, if you're somebody that goes out, you know, lounges, nightlife, hangout on weekends, 
fussy. I can, I know why this is Rihanna's favorite gloss bomb. It's something about it. There's this frosted, this soft frosted sheen on fussy that when you put it on top of your lipsticks or whatever lip product you're wearing or lip liner, it just adds this beautiful sheen that reflects when the light hits it. It photographs so well, y'all. This is beautiful. You, When you look at it, you're like, oh, it's just a soft pink gloss. No, it's the way the light hits it and the way it photographs. Fussy is beautiful. It's different. It just adds something different to the lip. You know how some lip glosses, when you put them on, it's like, okay, that's not a cheap lip gloss, like some of the Chanel glosses. That's what this gives. Very pretty, very, very pretty. I think I picked this up during the last Sephora sale. So glad I got this one. I definitely like it better than, uh, can't remember the other one I used to wear so much. I'll, I'll pop the name right here, but I like this one better than that one. Beautiful gloss. So that's it for my February makeup tray. So the upcoming videos that you guys will be seeing from me, I'll be using, pulling from those products more than anything else. So comment down below, let me know what are some of those products that you'll be incorporating into your February makeup tray. Every single thing that I mentioned today will be linked down below in the description box along with the shade I wear. So be sure to check that out. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on tomorrow's video. Cause I've been where you are. Don't you stick to me love. Cause too fresh with the scars.